Welcome to the incredible island of St. Thomas, home to beautiful beaches, stunning blue water, and breathtaking mountains. What's up, Paradise Crew? My name is Griff from the Travel Channel, Griff and Alyssa Trapped in Paradise, and we travel the world only by cruise ship, seeing some of the most jaw-dropping countries and ports the world has to offer. So if you're into that type of thing, please click the like button, please click the subscribe button, and we have tons more content coming. Because here are the top eight cruise excursions in St. Thomas that you won't believe exist. We sail to the port of St. Thomas on Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas, and boy, this did not disappoint. You truly have to see it to believe it. This place is so gorgeous. St. Thomas is the gateway isle of the U.S. Virgin Islands in the Caribbean. It's known for its beaches and snorkeling spots, which means you're going to want to be one of the first ones off the ship to get a head start. However, if you're anything like me and you like to get your beauty sleep and sleep in, then you're probably going to want to make sure that you skip that early morning breakfast and try to get brunch on St. Thomas Island instead. Now shout out to Mickey and Laura at Sunfari Tours. These are going to be some of the best tour guides you're ever going to have in St. Thomas. Now one of the first places that they took us was to a secret alley that had the coolest little brick road but it also had a hidden restaurant just for you to enjoy some of the world's best pistachio muffins. Let me tell you these explosions of flavors are insane but if you don't want a muffin they also have pastries, they have sandwiches, you can also get that early morning coffee fix and it's so good so they have something for everybody don't miss out at pasta gogo -Go. this place is also really good and you're gonna get enough fuel to start the day next up some fire tours took us to the mountaintops to check out all the ships coming into port and let me tell you it is such a beautiful view riding in the jeep seeing the different landscapes and just feeling that fresh saint thomas air blowing through your hair well if you have hair <laughs> next we went to megan's bay Megan's Bay is on the north side region of St. Thomas. It's one of the most popular tourist destinations on the island, as well as a gathering place for locals. But, fun fact, according to TripAdvisor, it's also one of the top 10 most popular beaches in the world, which means you'll get some awesome photos for your Instagram. Now, when we went, we were lucky. It actually wasn't that packed at all. That means we got to float in nice, clear blue water, super fun, white beaches, and just have a really good time. So don't miss out. Bring a camera. You're going to have a good time. After floating in the beautiful blue water of Megan's Bay, next up we headed to Koki Beach to get some awesome snorkeling on. Now, Koki Beach is also a white sand beach on the northeast side of the island of St. Thomas, adjacent to the Coral World Ocean Park. If you keep your eye open, you might also see some large iguanas hanging out in the sand. And let me tell you, these iguanas are huge, but they're super nice. I named one Larry, and he's cool. We're friends now. Check your email, Larry. Now, here's a fun tip that Safari hooked us up with. They brought us doggy biscuits to maximize our snorkeling experience. Now, at first, I was a little like, okay, this is weird, but to my surprise, Fishies love milk bones, and you won't believe how many fishes come out to play when you're snorkeling with milk bones. They are all over the place. Now, after hanging out with the iguanas and swimming with the fishes and having a great time, we headed out to Abbey Beach Bar. Now, if you're getting like me and you're a little hungry after being out in the sun a little too long, this is the greatest pit stop for you to get some food, to you get some drinks, sit in the sun, enjoy some live music, and just have a good time with your friends. Now, after grabbing a few drinks and listening to some live music, some fire tours connected with their buddy Alan to get on the Zap Cat. And if you don't know what a Zap Cat is, a Zap Cat is an inflatable racing boat. It comes in weighing at about less than 150 kilograms, but this thing has a 50 horsepower engine and this thing is so fast. It has so much power and oh my gosh, it is so much fun. It's an experience you gotta do. And also, don't forget to bring a GoPro. Floaty because it will fall off. After ripping up and down the beach on one of the fastest boats I've ever been on, Mickey also hooked us up with the Painless Excursions where we were tugged on a floating couch. A floating couch. 
guys, this is really gonna test your friendship with people and you're also gonna get to know some people because it's all about trust. Because if one of you guys let go, someone else is gonna let go and then everyone falls off. But I promise it's so much fun being tugged by a boat, sitting on the couch, swinging left, swinging right, just holding on for dear life. But you wear a life jacket, it's super fun and you gotta try it. You gotta try it. Now, a trip isn't complete with a nice relaxing boat ride with Captain Seabass and Trish on the Bama Breeze. That's right, Jimmy Buffett is in the house. Or more like on the water. Sit back, relax, and enjoy some drinks while cruising on the water. Enjoy music, laugh with your friends, and continue to make those lasting memories you'll cherish forever. After that, they'll drop you on the port. Yep, curbside service. You can go shopping if you want, or if you're like me and Alyssa and you had a fun time, a jam-packed session, you can actually just get back on the ship, wash up, and prepare for dinner. Now, I want to let you guys know Sunfire Tours is not paying us to say any of this, and we truly had a good time. If you're looking for some of the best things to do in St. Thomas, you got to connect with Mickey and Sunfire Tours. I guarantee it that you're going to have a good time. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you thought the tips were helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. If you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. We have tons of more content coming in the future. We'll see you in paradise. Peace.